I established Data Tech Group in 1995 in South Africa, 1998 in Toronto, Canada, and 2003 in Romania. Data Tech is a telecommunication and software company specializing in application for mobile industry, management, platform, customer sales marketing, database administration, and customer behavior. During the last six years, we have also developed our own technology by the name and ticket. Officially released in February 2010 at the Mobile Advertising Congress in Bucharest, MTKIT was quickly adapted by significant mobile operator like Vodafone Romania, Tibon and Montenegro, as well as leader in retail industry like Metro Kitchen Carry Romania. Now let's focus a bit on our technology. Try to remember the last time you were getting a printed discount coupon for your favorite restaurant, shops, or taking a cruise around the world. Now you, <clears throat> now you never have to print another coupon again because we took it to the next level. We make it mobile. We bring it right in your pocket. How? This is your mobile phone. Believe it or not, it's your most personal item. We bought, we brought this printed coupon on the mobile phone. And this is mobile couponing. It's that simple. For having a discount coupon on your mobile phone, you don't need a smartphone, MMS service, or an extra software on your handset because you receive an ordinary text with everything you need. Do you get it? Now picture this. We can also hook you up with tickets with your favorite concert, movie, or any other type of event. Instead of printing and paying, paying for your FedEx cost, you receive the ticket on your mobile phone while relaxing at home with your friends preparing for your night out. And this is mobile ticketing. For you to have a clear view of the entire process, I will show you two of our latest working projects. First of all, let's look at the mobile coupon campaign made for Metro Cation Carry Romania this year. We started sending an empty gift coupon to a targeted list of customers from Metro Database. After receiving the coupon, the customer came to Metro Store and used our fixed terminal at the client entrance to scan his mobile phone. The terminal validated the code and printed out the voucher for the customer to redeem at the cashier register. The most significant outcome of this campaign are the client flow increased with 85% and 58% of the participants use empty kit coupon every day. It's an official release from Vodafone, it's a better fair if anybody needs it. For the second example in the mobile ticketing service for one of, for one of our leading concerts organized in Romania by the name The Mission. The clients pay for the tickets using our semester payment service. They send a text message to our short code number, we charge them for the ticket price and instantly send them back an SMS to the mobile, <coughs> an SMS, send them back by SMS the mobile ticket for the concert, sorry. We scan and validate the tickets and the address using our mobile scanner. Our system proved to be 110% secure and increased the sale of the tickets with 18%, thanks to our user-friendly and mobile ticketing service. This two case scenario proved that MTKIT is a powerful technology bridge and leverage the relation between the customer and the brands and could be applied in various domains worldwide. Due to, due to the 100% compatibility of MTKIT with all the mobile phones, we secure our position on the market as a unique provider of the universal couponing and mobile ticketing service. In fact, we have a monopoly on the local market. On the global market, we have only one real competitor in the USA. Long story short, we need your money to get our technology on steroids. For 900,000 euros, I'm ready to take you as my partner with 50% of the following project. Now, try to memorize the name of our first future project. Entity Interactive Terminals Infrastructure for Hypermarkets and Supermarkets. This is one we need an investment of 400,000 that will help us produce 55 scanners. Now remember, 55 scanners are able to bring over 1 million customers per year in Carrefour, Metro, Gora, 
score us all in Romania. This is a success, successful scenario because we already have an open request for these brands which will, will be embodied into commercial agreements. After the full deployment of the terminals, we should estimate a monthly revenue of 50,000 euros. Our second project is also in return but for shopping malls. Investment requiring 150,000 euros for producing 12 scanners for deployment in 10 key shopping malls in Romania. We also use the funds for promotional purpose for the first six months. This project has a very good potential and will generate 25,000 euro per month. And our last but not least project is mobile ticketing for public transportation. Everybody knows the large number of customers in public transportation, so the opportunity of our project is very good. The investment is 250,000 euro is necessary for production of 200 mobile scanner for the ticket controllers. After one year of mobile ticketing intensity, will generate a monthly income of plus minus 50,000 euro depends on the ticket sales. And don't forget, MTKit is able to reach any mobile customer. It's a turnkey solution with proven commercial success and can be instantly deployed anywhere in the world. MTKit has monopolized the local market and we are the only two technology providers on the globe. Investing in MTKit means investing in global technology. Sorry, I forget. My name is Gabriel Pugonez from the CEO of MTKit. <laughs> Any questions? Alexander, we have a question here. Uh, okay, so from what I understood, you can buy a ticket by sending an SMS to a short number, which uh, takes money from your uh, bill, from your phone bill, right? Exactly. exactly. Okay. We have a partnership with uh, the GSM provider. Okay, excellent. How do you deal with the 30, 30 to 65 fee? of uh, mobile transactions. Come again? Uh, oh, I know that the uh, fees for the transactions using the mobile phone. But it's yeah, it's close to our agreement. I can, I can make it public. Okay. It's between us and the GSM provider. Okay. Because of and the future part is up to 65%, which is a lot. Come again? Don't, don't get confused with the server. It's 35% of the Okay. Okay. Thanks. I actually hardware or software company. I didn't get it quite exactly. Are you producing this? Are you producing these terminals, or it's only a software product? Uh, we I produce hardware from the, the software to the terminal. Yes. yes. So you need to produce. Yes, we have seven different models uh, of terminals, and from the power one up to the mobile, even application for iPhone and Android. Okay. While well, still launched two months ago. Okay. And where are you going to produce this this uh, kind of electronics? Is it produced it's in secret. Romania, or it's? it's secret. Well, it's secret. I can't tell you where I produce them. Uh, yes, but okay. It's, it's I, I mean, you cannot even tell if it's in Romania. Or I'm, trying, I'm trying to produce them in Romania. That's why I need money. I need more money, basically. Okay. Yeah. Some components from China. Yeah, yeah. So, just a couple of two questions. Why do you need scanners for? Because, uh, uh, just to give us a. Uh, the slide with the And uh, doesn't matter what phones they are, doesn't matter the angle, doesn't matter the background, doesn't matter the... It's 99.9% .9 I, can, I can scan any, any phone, even the 2003 phones. Would it be just a lot cheaper to input the number? <coughs> no, the no, because it's no more the customer interaction. And you scan, you just put it up and it... Exactly, exactly. Okay. And, and another question. Uh, how do you compete with, there are other mobile service, mobile payment providers in Romania? I'm not competing with the mobile payment provider. They are my partners. They will, they will implement my technology for their needs. But 
I'm not referring to, to, to the product the manufacturer, but the company where more people pay and all those other guys and they just pay. They are our friends. They're friends. We're not competing on payments here. It's about the technology that helps people deploy mobile couponing. If the client asks to use our SMS payment service, they most are welcome. If they want to use a different provider, I have no nothing, uh, nothing against them. Uh, sorry. I have a question. How are you, what is your relationship with Bico that you mentioned? What is your business relationship with Bico? Uh, they are in the competition. Because I think they have a similar technology. Yeah. Yes, the, but they have one, one single unit. Our, our uh, scanning devices is been deployed in different environments, from the train station uh, to the metro to the bus driver. They have only one single unit. And they use a totally different code. If you look at the codes, they use five characters and we use six. And it's totally different. But similar technology. That's why I can say it's yes, it's my competition worldwide. I, I have a question. Uh, why, why do you need to build your own scanner hardware? Why don't you, why don't you just scan scan them with another, another mobile phone? For instance, I mean, you scan that using that, that, use that, that barrier, barrier to entry, you say you have a monopoly, but do you think that the barrier to entry is that high for a for competitor? Because uh, nowadays every smartphone can scan. Give me an example. An iPhone can scan anything. I guess I could, scan create, one. I could create an iPhone app that would scan the code that scan one. in theory can scan uh, your QR code. For example, it's a big trend. How can I send the QR code to any type of phone? Well, not a QR code. I mean, how you, can you I send it? You should be able to create a QR code to any you type should, of phone. You should be able to create the <coughs> that scan Why should I make my clients download or upload or install a different software on the mobile handset when you can send a text message? Come again? It's easier, to, it's easier for, for me as a client to buy an app than to buy, buy hardware. I'm, I'm not sorry. selling my hardware. If I mentioned before, I need money to manufacture my hardware, to give yeah. to my clients, Cora, Carrefour, Metro, whatever they are, to use them. I don't ask for them to buy them. But yeah, just, you could just give them an iPhone. I was just, I was just, just give them an iPhone. Yeah, exactly. I can, yeah. but in the middle of five months, you can't get, give them. We already been there. We already have a successful project with them and I can't give them an iPhone where you have a, a floor of a thousand clients by the door and Why not? the reception lady, Why not? the reception lady, the reception lady, the reception lady, she doesn't know what to do with it. Yes, if I have a VAP club or I have a nice coffee shop, yeah, they can download the application from, uh, from our server and they put it on an iPhone and it can work, but you're not going to have up to four seconds you're going to have a scan, uh, successful scan like uh, on the upgrade. One more question, please. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk about excitement. <laughs> Thank you. I know that in uh, some countries like Kenya, for example, the um, mobile provider um, can uh, let you pay uh, using uh, your uh, mobile bill. Like uh, when you go to a bar, you want to buy a beer, you're using your phone. And you no, the mobile provider doesn't allow you to buy a on the bill. I know that this happens. I think it's only a lot of time uh, until the uh, mobile, uh, uh, like uh, mobile companies like Orange or Vodafone uh, will let us uh, buy goods using our credit. Uh, I don't know about that in Romania yet. I don't know. I'm working on the for last seven years and I'm, I'm sure they will not do that for sure. As far as I know, the discussions, for example, in Poland, it's um, if um, those companies um, can act as a bank. So this is the only uh, thing now that stops them in doing this. So they're not going to play they give us a service. As, me as a client of Vodafone and Orange, give me a service to buy a ticket, but actually it's been declared before that short code number belongs to that particular service. Any, any payment or any micropayment that has to be done via the GSM provider, you have to declare what you do with that number. Okay. It's very, very tight, very, very tight. Thank you so much, and uh, again, one more question. Just a short 
question that is must investment is for technology? No, for production. Technology is ready. I mentioned I launched it last year in February at the Mobile Congress in Advertising. And we already have to mention... Romania or worldwide? No, Romania. Thank you. If we need worldwide, we have to get the technology. Thank you. Thank you so much.